Hello and welcome to another commentary. It is Denethia coming at you. Right, this is a game with myself and Deco yet again. We're actually in 2v2 Platinum um, after our placement matches. And we weren't actually too sure if we were supposed to be there because we lost like four games straight to just mass rushes. And then eventually we started winning again. So I think we're about 80, 85th placed in the ladder at the moment and we're like yeah awesome so having a look at this round we have got myself as protoss deco as protoss red and blue against a purple protoss and a light blue protoss so looky there it's all protoss now <laughs> i played this game about two days ago so i don't really remember what's happened at all so this will be quite interesting for me <laughs> Because I, I'd like to remember what the hell happened. Right, so it looks like pretty standard openings from everyone so far. Deco's getting a his gateway already. I haven't, I'm lagging a bit. Although I'm setting up my uh, pylon down here so I can try and make a bit of a wall with my buildings. And there you see my gateway going down nicely. Protoss, uh, Protoss, I shouldn't say that because everyone's Protoss. Purple is getting double gas. Uh, which is rather interesting. Uh, he's got his pylon there. Obviously, maybe... Well, I don't know. Might make some cannons around his base. And we've got a standard of a pylon and a gateway. Although, you'll notice that um, my probe is just looking around a bit and had a look all around his base because when I first moved in, there was nothing. There was just a, a, just a pylon. I don't even think that was there. I was like, what the hell? So I would searched around expecting there to be a proxy pylon somewhere. Which I've had happen to me before and I wasn't very pleased about it. But that's not the case. So I'm quite happy. And now I'm just hanging out at the back here to see if he does fast expand. Expecting him to do that as well. You can see a second gateway going down. For me, I've got a cybernetics core coming up because I really want to get my sentries out. Um, I decided to go sentries this round, so if I remember correctly. So let's see how that works. And you can see I've already got three probes running on the gas, trying to get that up as fast as possible. Deco's got his first uh, zealot out and getting a cyber core. Probably going to go stalkers, maybe? I don't know. Um, I'm just grabbing this Zonag Watchtower. I could see this probe coming, so I'm hopefully going to be able to... Nope. Can't stop him. He can just walk right in there, see as much as he wants. Go on, little probe. Take a look around. Anyway, going back to this interesting purple opening, we've got a gateway only just now being built, and this is uh, almost done, so it's probably 17 supply. Um, you'll notice on the income tab, that purple has 18 probes. He's got a very heavy econ build here. Uh, also getting more minerals, obviously, because he's got more harvesters now on 19. Um... I'm sitting on 13. I, I find it's a real problem for me. I always forget. Look at this. Look at this. There's like not even one per mineral patch. That mineral patch is completely empty. Um, I really need to work on getting my harvesters up. But I'm getting double gas. So, because I know that these little sentries are very heavy on the gas. And yeah, so need heaps of that. You can see a zealots coming across the map here for light blue trying to push into my base. Uh, running straight past all my units. Probably going... Gonna blah, 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 blah. Going to try and go straight for the mineral line, but, ah, oh, look at that. A nice little force field trapping him right there. Can't move any further, and I'm able to easily clean that up. Um, and here he is just asking, how did I make that wall? I actually thought that Deco was asking me, so I sent the message back to my ally saying, yeah, <laughs> it's a sentry, really? Didn't you know? Um... So this guy's probably thinking I'm an absolute jerk for not responding to him, but whatever the case. We can see a cyber core coming up. He's also got a forge for purple and still very heavy uh, eco build here. We've got 23 uh, harvesters and just a couple more more pylons coming up. It seems like he's trying to spread his his pylon power out as much as possible. And the, the fact that he's got that forge there makes me think he's just going to go cannons to defend. Not sure how well that'll work out. Uh, I'm getting my pylon right here so I can see either side of these uh, the brushes plus it also gets me some sight in case he tries to bring some stalkers up here and jumps in the back which would be kind of annoying a observer out for deco uh, just having a poke around there seeing what he can see 
and obviously we've only got a Stalker to see and a Stargate. That's a very quick Stargate coming up and with 25 Harvesters coming in. He's got plenty of money to try and support that. Uh, whereas the Light Blue Protoss now... What is his name? I didn't even say that. Chadster. Chadster and Ghost. I think I've played Ghost a couple of times. Um, nonetheless. We've got three Zealots out here. He's also getting some cannons up for a little bit of static defense. Uh, we're all pretty equal in harvest account, uh, whereas Chadster is uh, lacking a little bit behind, but generally speaking, he's, he's pretty good. And now he's just figured out that he can warp a sentry with a, um, a shield. Uh, sorry, force field, not shield. I'm still getting out my sentries here, trying to pump them out as much as possible. I've only got one Zealot, and that was really only to stop any fast rushes that may have occurred. Which, well, one did, but my sentry really helped kill that off. You can see here I've got already six sentries, and we've got a immortal two sentries and a zealot for Deco. Happily pumping those out, also getting a double stargates, as he knows that we're going to be facing air units, so he should be able to build something uh, to repel that. Also getting a fleet beacon, so yeah, he must be going straight for carriers, it would seem. Chadstar is getting his natural expansion over there. Happily mining away, uh, double gateway, pumping out some stalkers to to change the composition of his army slightly. Which these stalkers are a very good backup for the zealots. Ranged attack, obviously. I'm still trying to do my little sentry build here. Just now, got an observer out, which I always forget to build a robotics facility. Um, strangely enough, I am generally a Terran player, so yeah. Because I've got this probe here, I can actually see this force coming. And no worries there, I know exactly what's about to happen. So I can see that army. Or at least could. My observer coming in now, trying to have a little bit of a spot around. I can see that these are the cannons here. I know cannons are detectors, so I'm trying to avoid running straight into them. Mm, what am I doing over here? Nothing. Okay. Deco has nicely expanded. He's getting a few um, probes there, trying to saturate that. You can see he's got 24 probes. But Purple, Mr. Ghost, has still got 33 uh, harvesters here, getting a bucket load of minerals. Also getting some stalkers, putting sent uh, sentries, putting photon cannons all around the outside of his base, trying to make sure nothing gets in or potentially out, because we've already got a observer inside his base. He may not know about that. We can also see that Chadster is building up some forces here in the middle of the bay, uh, middle of the map. The Zelnaga Watchtower, uh, possibly just trying to see what's coming his way. And if you have a look, I just tried to move out with these uh, sentries here, but realizing that he's probably got the Zelnaga Watchtower, I have decided to pull back a little bit um, because I want to use um, the blur, blur, blur. I want to use the hallucination ability. Here I've got a couple of extra zealots being hallucinated. So as far as Chadster's concerned, I've got five zealots and a bunch of sentries coming in here. And he should run away. Compared to this force, he's got nothing. These sentries are making quick work of those zealots. And they all go down. Now I'm moving straight back into to Chadster's base here, but turning around to try and deal with these two stalkers. Um, as you can see by my point of view, I don't know how much is coming, if he's got any more forces, so I'm just trying to pick these stalkers off here. They're, they're doing a lot of damage, fortunately for me, to my hallucinated zealots, and I'm running back to regroup and macro up some more units. Uh, but you can see I, I had plenty of opportunity to, to run in here, at least take out this and possibly even this whole expansion. Um, but I was being very cautious here. I realize I've just taken out a, a bunch of his units and I know that we're in the lead here. So I'm quite happy to, to pull back and regroup. Uh, Deco is just noticing now that the carriers have come out for, for Ghost, which will be rather interesting to see here because we don't have that much uh, anti-air, but you can see Deco is really trying to uh, make sure his base is nicely protected with all these photon cannons. Should build a whole bunch more back here uh, and possibly even right behind this line because you can just get your characters run up to the back here and destroy all these probes. But he's probably not too worried. He can see when it moves out, so that's not a drama there. You can also see that uh, Deco's got a nice little force at the front here. Uh, led by an immortal, which will take a bit of a beating, but as always, 
going for the Void Rays, which have worked so well for us lately. Back into my base, I've got uh, all my forces, which is now made up of sentries and stalkers, because I know they've got air units, moving into this zone.